Hey everyone, let's play some games. Today we are playing the Temple Warrior. And it looks like we got a one drop. And what else do we have? I guess, oh right, it looks like frauding the Sergan. And... Oh, I must admit, right. Well, that, that's a pretty good opening hand. Let's just keep all of it. And uh, against another warrior. I actually, I think that's the first warrior I've played since I've come back here to ranked, so not seen many of them. Let's start out with you. And, hmm. Ah, so which one do I want? I mean, this is like, there can be accurate. I think all of them are better than the warrior hero power, but which one do I really want? Do I want to be able to do one extra damage? Yeah. I, actually, I think I want to go with shapeshift. I kind of like it. Could be handy. I don't think I will have to be too concerned with being rushed down versus another warrior, especially when you actually have minions to play in the first three turns. Ah, he does have a 5 a axe, unfortunately. But at least the uh, armor smith. Wait, is he going for the. <laughs> Alright, okay, so we're dealing with an aqua warrior. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Or oh, actually, more. Accurately, I think he can be described as a face warrior. Wow, really? Like, I have a perfect minion for him to kill out there, but he just goes for the face? But he doesn't have a follow-up? Okay, this should be an easy game, but... Let's not get overconfident. I'm happy we have an armor smith out there. That could come in handy since... Wow. Versus this guy, maybe actually having an armor up would be a good thing, but... Ah, this one also gives one armor, so... Really? Hmm... I'm gonna guess that he's gonna go for like a, a one-turn kill with like a Raging Vorken or something like that. So, thankfully, you know, he cannot be that kind of charge patron warrior that used to exist. So... Oh wait, now I'm getting a little scared. What if he has... Brawl? Uh, uh, should I really play it? Oh, you know, I don't know. Now I feel now I'm feeling a little nervous here. Did he use the coin? I think he used the coin on turn one to play his five reward X to go face, and then he followed up with armor up. So he doesn't have the coin now, so he can't brawl this turn. But I don't think we're gonna play any more minions, even if we draw one here. I already got. Oh, it's, but, it's the, that, oh, I really want to play it, but, I think we got it, uh, this turn, we just go for the face with everything, and then we see, if he has Brawl, he will use it next turn, right, so we don't want to do it right now, do you want to get the axe out, you know what, let's go for the face here, see if we can uh, kill him before he can get some kind of crazy combo, if that's what he's going for. All right, do you have Brawl? I hope not. But I mean, he's just been armoring up. Like, this is such a weird game. Heroic Strike. Well, that's not scary. Okay, I guess he doesn't have a Brawl because there's no way he wouldn't have done it here. Okay, that makes me feel safer. All right, do we have Lethal? I think we probably would have if this one hadn't been silenced, but it was silenced. So let's see, we got three, five, eight, no, four, seven, nine, okay, ten. Yeah, we don't have lethal. Mm, so how do we do it? I think we do, since he, wait, that's six, that's a lot of minions. But I think, yeah, we have room for this. Let's just, um, and then just go for the face here. Yeah. I'm gonna keep the weapon charged because, okay. You don't have another weapon coming up. I'm feeling pretty good about it. I mean, the only thing I would be sad about is if you see top deck brawl here. But even if he did, I think we still have a decent chance of winning this. Oh, is he gonna go for the face again? <laughs> what is going on? 
Oh man, he must have just gotten all the cards he didn't want because we are not at rank 20 anymore. People at rank 13 generally have uh, an idea of what they're doing, right? So, yeah. Alright, well, that was easy. Let's try another game. We also need to get back on the winning streak since we lost it last time. So hopefully if we can uh, win three in a row here. Let's try another. Alright. Okay, found someone quick. Also think rank 13 is probably a place where you can find the fastest games because I think that's probably where the majority of people who play a lot are around. Whereas there are probably more people at lower ranks, but you probably don't play as much, which is one of the reasons why they are lower. Um, okay, so. We got a fierce monkey. I don't think... We got the coin. Oh, okay, that's significant. So now, if you get a second free drop, you're fine. Looking for two drop or free drop. Let's keep Death Spider around. It's just a nice weapon. And we already got that free drop there. Not ideal, but... We can probably work with this. We do have the coin, which gives us some flex. Oh, that's the second free drop. All right, well then we're fine. Let's see what he does. Well, so do we want to play? Let's get the frauding berserker out there. Then we can play the fierce monkey next turn. Not really scared of him doing one damage to us here. Hmm. I wish I could get the death rattle from death spite sooner rather than later. Well, hopefully he won't have a good way of get. Oh yeah, two silver axe actually. I hope he doesn't have that. But let's play this. And do we go for the face or do we attack one of those? Let's attack one of those. Beef up our uh, Berserker a little bit. Yeah, I think that's that makes sense. And then just hope he doesn't have a true silver. My okay. Ah, that's fine. That's okay. It's like he can kill it, but it's not exactly a huge win for him or anything. Oh, he goes that way. Huh. Okay. Then he has to go for the fate, and wow, we can do a lot of damage here. So, hmm, okay, I mean, my immediate thought is just play Death Spite, kill that. Is that the best choice? I think it probably is, right? Like, what else can we do? Like, slam, execute? No, no, no. We're gonna play Death Spite, kill that, and then we're gonna go for the face, do 10 damage, and turn. And now he's, well, he's gonna get rid of this one way or another. I mean, he could just run these two into it, and yeah, I guess that's what he's gonna do, right? Let's see what else he does. I like the fact that you have two executes. Works pretty well with Death Spite. Well, it doesn't look like it's gonna be relevant this turn, but we also have a slam to come up with the execute later. So, uh, we could play Acolyte and Armor Smith here and just get a little bit of armor and card draw while we kill those two, or we could play... Yeah, I think I like that best. We also would be nice with the, with some extra cards. So let's do that. Clear the board, draw some cards, get some armor. Oh, Dragon Egg. Could have used you a little earlier. Would have been nice with the Death Spite, but no big loss. We still have uh, two Taskmasters left to combo with the Dragon Egg later, which is like one of my favorite combos in the whole game, I think. Uh, mostly when the Dragon Egg comes out on turn one, of course. Ah, ah! Not happy to see you. Hmm. So how are we gonna deal with this? I mean, we could slam execute. Uh, that's a lot of mana, though. And I think I want something. Yeah, because if we do that, we can't play any minions. So I don't like that. So I think we're gonna run that into that. See what we draw. Probably execute it. Actually, we could have slam, and then 
Yeah, but then again, the slam is nice to have for the other execute. I guess either way would have worked, really. Then let's execute. And now, do we want Lothab? Are we scared of any spells here? Are the spells we want to stop? I can't really think of any spells that I'm particularly worried about here. Let's just play the sludge spells here. Or go for the face. Right, we don't have a weak board to consecration or anything like that. So I don't I don't think we really need the the loaf up here. Right, Dr. Boom is probably the most worrisome thing. Uh but thankfully we can't kill Dr. Boom himself with a slam execute. Can't really deal with the bombs that well, but that's just how it's gonna be. Let's slam. And then we execute and then we can play the shredder also. Now I think Strike. Yeah, let's get rid of uh, one of the bombs here. Hope it hits the face, really. Eh. Not ideal. Do we want to try and... Uh... Ah, he's going to run into it himself anyway. But it's like, then there's a bigger chance that it doesn't hit the shredder. I really wouldn't want it to kill the shredder. And again, if it hits the shredder for like one or two, it's fine. So maybe just go for the face here with this and... And then we'll play this rather. Right. Really would have been nice if that bomb had hit the face though, but can't have it all. Right. Fairly even. Wait, oh I thought he would have Hmm. No, well, he didn't do what I thought he would do, but Okay. Let's um if we slam that and run that into it. Uh, got six mana left. We play Lofa plus a dragon egg. How do we get rid of them? Run that into that. Hmm. We'll do. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, slam first, see what we draw. Okay. I run that into that. And then we run this into that. And I was like, do we want to kill this bomb? Nah, I guess I don't really care so much about it. I think I would... And then again... I don't want to do it. I guess it would be nice to have a dragon egg out for it. Let's just... Yeah, and I think now I would really like Loaf about because... Now something like Consecration does a lot more damage. So if he wants to play Consecration, he better... Well, he's going to have to pay 9 mana for it, right? Oh, you Sarah. Hmm. Well, that makes me think that we should try and rush him down. Because he's getting kind of low, and his board is not that impressive. Okay. I guess we're not going to taskmaster that one. But we have six. We have a lot of damage. If we get Gromash, of course it's going to be over soon. Whirlwind? Not really what I had in mind. But okay. Um, go for the phase. I think we, yeah, we definitely trying to try and rush him down. So that's six, eleven. I mean, we could play the Taskmaster here, but it might be nice to save it for next turn. Like save it to something like this, and and then. But if we go for the two, I've got it. Yeah, let's save the Taskmaster. He can run that into that. Might be nice to do that. Also, what if he has Consecration now? He hasn't played any Consecration. You know what? Let's kill that one. And then we go for the phase with that. Take him down to 10. Limited what he can do with just Ysera, right? And we do this. And this one has free life, so it survives Consecration. This one, you know, it gets an extra minion out of it. So does this one. So even with Consecration, it's not too bad. Okay, come on. Ah, that's fine. I guess it does die to Consecration. Oh, you Sarah Awakens! Oh, I didn't even think of that one. Mmm, that, that hurts. And then, oh man. Alright, that is not the turn I was hoping for. He is down to free life. <laughs> huh. I hope he doesn't have any healing around. 
He can't even play another Ysera Awakens, that would kill him. Alright, so... Ah, it's just a taunt, like how are we gonna get rid of that? We already used both of our executes. Ah, this is not really the hand I was looking for. Um... Actually, Dr. Boom could be really nice, because then the bombs could kill him. Also, if he got... if he had a weapon equipped... Then... And we got Gromash. Right, then we could Whirlwind, run the Gromash into your Sarah, and then hit the face with the weapon. Do we really want to play and like it doesn't really seem like that does any good I think I'm gonna hold on to my yeah let's just do this and turn and I equip the weapon now because if I do get Gromash I wouldn't have mana for whirlwind uh, Gromash and the weapon so we need the weapon uh, that is not good that is not good <laughs> all right I, I think we lost our chance unfortunately but let's see. You know. So, to win. Now we can't rush him down anymore, right? So, it's there. He doesn't have that many cards. The problem is, like, how are we ever gonna get rid of Ysera? That is the problem. Mm. Thank hmm. you. Like, is that a way. I guess we could get... Okay, you know what? So this is the new plan. We want to get Doomsayer out of the Shredder. Yeah. Other than that, we want to get lucky no and... Games. Well, that's not <laughs> what we wanted either. But let's see. So if we... Run that into that Doomsayer... It's the Doomsayer at the beginning of our turn. He didn't kill it. So that that's, creates another problem for us. Yeah, not really liking our chances. But, um... Let's, uh... <laughs> let's just see. What do we get? That is not what I wanted. I think we just uh, give up. Uh, oh, sorry. I got something in my throat. <clears> hmm. <throat> <clears throat> All right. Uh, probably gonna cut that little cough out, but okay. So let's uh, move on to our third game here, and uh, yeah, get back on the winning track. Oh man, that was so close. Yet, at least it ended up very far. Yeah. All right, got a druid, and not really what I'm looking for. I don't think Taskmaster is very good to keep versus a druid, unless you already got a one drop, because you can't really use it on turn two against druids. It's very rare that you play something that you want to use it on. And this is like an acro druid with Lepanome, I guess. You know what? Let's keep Taskmaster. Also, because now we do have two Dragon Eggs in the deck, so there's a chance that we draw one of those also thinly, which is just such a strong start, so it's worth just keeping around. And then I also got reminded that some of the druids I faced this season have actually been uh, ac acro druids with uh, Lepanomes, so it could also be relevant in that case. Alright. Oh, not really the hand I'm looking for, though, but we still draw one more card before turn one, so hopefully it'll be a Dragon Egg. Oh, he tossed everything. Well, that's a good sign. Hopefully he just got a bunch of useless stuff, and we got a 5 e axe. Okay, I like that. Let's see, I'm gonna play a Lebanon. I dare ya. Oh, that's the Dragon Egg, but it's a turn too late. <laughs> um... I guess we still play it though. I mean, yeah. Ah, just you, if you had come out one card earlier. Oh, that makes me wish, right, that I had tossed the Taskmaster. 
because I got another Taskmaster anyway. I don't know. I don't think that's actually how the algorithm works, but... Okay, so I think I'm actually gonna play... Mm, the Fierce Monkey here, because of the whole mana thing, right? And then next turn, we can do Taskmaster plus 5 Evoax. Or if we need to, we can do a uh, Death Spite. But even though I think Taskmaster is probably gonna end up be this thing uh, superior next turn. I must safeguard. Oh. Well. Okay. <laughs> that kind of ruined that plan. And you know. Oh no. Okay. Well. What can you do? Then I guess we play the, the Death Spite here. Kill that. Go for the face with the monkey. At least we got one of his silences out of the way. I guess that's something. I'm always so scared that you're gonna use it on an acolyte, which I hope we draw. Perhaps next turn actually would be pretty good for that. We got a Taskmaster. We got our Death Spite. All right, so I think here we kill that and play a Shredder. Go for the face. I'm gonna be still sad about our dragon egg, but oh well. Oh, don't play Doctor Boom! Don't, don't do it! Don't do it! Okay, I mean it's not Doctor Boom, so I guess I will count my blessings. Death Spike. Uh, okay, you know what? Let's do this, and then we do that, and then we finish it off like this. And go for the face and he is down to 17 we do have Gromesh in our hand we do have another weapon in our hand and it can be hard for druids to really deal like they don't really have very efficient removal so like uh, aoe i mean basically right i would like an execute though uh three mana swipe is pretty good though <laughs> two three mana spike okay but what do you got Sumpy Chow? Okay. That's not too bad. Slam. Hmm. Okay, so what if we slam... ...here, and then we finish it off with the Taskmaster, and we go for the face with that, play the Acolyte, and then we go for the kill next turn with a Death Spite and Gromash. Yeah. I think I like that. Now, low fat, that's fine. Doesn't stop us. That's not a taunt either. Good. Then uh, we just do it. Let's see, we need a little bit of damage there. And then we just go here, and there, and there. And we're back on the winning track. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.